coach always tells us at the beginning of the year, like, this team can win a national championship. How does a college golf program define success? Is it talent? Is it sportsmanship and class? Is it trophies? Is it perfection? Over the course of the last decade, at our small Division II University in Ohio, a golf powerhouse has been built. A product of our head coach, Dom Guaneri. The 2021 season began with high hopes as the women's team was ranked sixth in the country, its highest ranking ever. But as the leaves began to change and the fall season began, it became clear that the team was not yet where it knew it could be. The Oilers finished sixth in the debut event of the season, then runner-up four consecutive times, including this heartbreaker in their home tournament. But in college golf, championships aren't decided in the fall. Winter's frigid temperatures set in and the completion of a new facility, the Beale Family Golf Center, was announced. The Oilers got to work. With the arrival of the spring season, the Oilers had emerged with a gritty blue-collar persona, playing every event with a chip on the shoulder. The regular season was a sweep. Five wins, five medalists, perfection. When the conference championship rolled around, Findlay steamrolled through stroke play and the result was the same. Two weeks later in Kansas City, a second regional title in the last three years. Seven for seven and a trip to Gainesville, Georgia for one final event. The best in the country gathered in the Peach State as 18 teams battled 54 holes for eight spots. In ninth, late in the tournament, the Oilers needed to play the final six holes at four under to keep their season alive. We knew that it was crunch time. We just needed to focus one shot at a time and finish strong to help each other out. Needing par on the 18th, senior Christina Nisley found a fairway bunker. A perfect shot found the green and two putts made it official. The dream was still alive. Defending national champion Dallas Baptist had cruised through stroke play and earned the top seed. We've said it since we got into middle match play, like all we needed was a chance. This is the medal match play quarterfinal between the number one seed DBU and the number eight seed Finley. You know what, if, if we're gonna get beat, let's get beat by the best, like let's see what they got. Each putt that dropped delivered a devastating blow to a team that rarely showed weakness. A 
dominating performance, and the Oilers were moving on. Stay focused, stay present, stay in the moment. That's why we're still playing this afternoon. Two hours later, the semifinals. Finley faced another Southern powerhouse, the Barry Buccaneers, who won the D2 championship in Finley five years prior, and in the fall, traveled north and beat the Oilers on their home turf. Although it wasn't easy, it was an emphatic win, sending Finley to the championship match. One final round. 98 to 40 to 20 to 10. What do those numbers mean to you? Our student athletes, they mean a week of hard work and really a lifetime of hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, the pinnacle awaits. Eagle by Schmidtmeyer led to a landslide victory in the leadoff match. Playing the last round of her career, Nisley birdied her final two holes. Another win. Limestone won the next two matches, tying the event at two. It came down to freshman Aaron Mulcahy, who had taken losses in her first two matches of the weekend. A late four-shot swing gave her a one-shot lead with one hole to play. A tricky bunker shot led to a bogey, leaving the door open for Limestone's All-American to force a playoff. Today, this 
week, you guys showed me the most fight, grit, determination, staying in the moment I've ever seen in my life. And we went eight for eight this spring. Thank all of you. I love you guys. Perfection. Eight tournaments. Eight wins. And no matter what the polls or the experts say, the trophies in Finland. And to us, that is success. <laughs>